My favorite mousetraps to review are new designs that are invented by YouTube viewers. There is so much creativity out there, especially with 3D printed mousetraps. Now this is just one week of packages I received from YouTube viewers. So let's start opening these up and see what's inside. This package was sent to me by a YouTube viewer named Jerome. He's a toy designer. You might remember that name. He came up with the 3D printed pretzel prison. Oh look, it has an MTM, a Mousetrap Monday logo. Really cool, let's take it out. I can't wait to test out this mousetrap that Jerome sent me. Now Jerome is a toy designer by trade and he likes to have fun. This is a fun mousetrap. What makes it so great is the engine, how you set it. You tie it to some helium balloons. Now my daughter just turned one and my son just turned four, so these are left over from their party. I got these at the dollar store, they're pretty inexpensive. We're gonna use all of them because the more balloons we have, the faster it will go up. I'm gonna show you the components and how to set this and then we'll go try to catch the mouse with a party balloon mouse trap. Here's how the trap works. We'll first take off the lid and I'll show you the body. The body's made out of a repurposed food storage container. They're the kind that has the little push button on the lid to do a vacuum seal. It has some vent holes in the back, two holes on the side for latches. And then on the bottom, they've mounted a 3D printed base for the trigger system. The trigger system is this. It's a round circle with a string through it and you put the bait behind there. The mouse will come into the trap, chew through that string, release it, it will go up and then it will raise this ping pong ball here. Now it's kind of nice that instead of having to tie the whole string system, he put a ring here. So we just have to tie the string below this ring. And there's a little hole right here that slides into the base. You can clip it into place and that way the mouse has to chew through the string to get it. Now when it releases it and the ping pong goes up, it will catch on the lid here. The door on the lid has a hinge and then a little latch here that's a magnet. You can open it by pulling this over and up, it will open. When it comes down, it will be attracted to the magnet inside this and latch and you can't open it. Now there's a little slot here. That's what guides the balloons so that it can go up. Now to set it, you'd open this up, lower this little washer so it keeps it in place when everything's tight. And then when it raises up, when the mouse chews through the string, it'll close, slide over and lock into place. Now another feature that's important is we want the mice to get in the trap. So it has a little slot here that can fit a ramp. You can make it out of cardboard here. I made it out of a paint stick, it slides in. The mouse will go up the ramp, down into the trap, try to get the bait, chew through the string, release that. It will go up with that ping pong ball powered by the balloons, cause the door to close and latch, and then you got them. This is a really creative idea and I wanna see if it works. This is such a fun trap. The mouse went in there, really wanted to get that bait, chewed through the string, released the balloons. They went up, caused the door to close. He's been in there all night and it's not foggy. This has enough ventilation holes. Since this is a live catch trap and the mouse is doing well, let's go set him free. To let him go, we just release the clips on the side, take off the lid. Thank you, Jerome, for sending me another really fun mouse trap to test out. If you have access to a 3D printer and you want to make this trap, Jerome's agreed to share the file, so I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also include a link to his website so you can see his other work. You now, I love testing out these mouse traps that YouTube viewers have invented. I'm way behind in posting videos. I have a huge stack of them that I still need to produce. But if you have a mouse trap design you want me to feature on Mouse Trap Mondays, send me a message and it might be on an upcoming video.